And hi again, everybody. Mark Mannering here from Class Training, another fortnightly uh, video tips uh, series. Uh, three tips in three minutes. Focusing again on Outlook, and we're going to look at folders. Now, most of you would know that uh, to create folders is a good idea for your emails to keep those or file them away. I'm just going to give you some best practice suggestions of what you can do with the three tips. Now, most of you would know uh, with our inbox here, I've got lots of emails here and I need to file those away and sort them. So um, uh, the shortcut here is just to go right click on your inbox and you can see their new folder. Most of us would know that. Now, as a suggestion, when you type in your name, for the particular folder, I'll just go reports, for example, not a bad idea to put a number at the start, one full stop and then a space reports, or you could use A, B, C, I'm going to use one, two and three, press enter. And what that does is it keeps that at the top of the page or at the top of the list. I'll go right click again and go new folder. This time I'm going to go two dot accounts and Outlook leaves them in alphabetical order by default. Uh, and we'll go right click uh, new folder uh, three dot personal okay and away you go so it's not a bad idea that's my first tip is to uh, just put a little number there or a letter just to keep them in alphabetical order as part of that with uh, the example here I've got accounts um, I'm going to go again I'm going to say let's put some more subfolders underneath accounts so I'll go right click on accounts itself new folder again and uh, we'll put in 2016 as the year for example Another one under accounts, right click, new folder, uh, 2017, and so on. So uh, the, the strong suggestion here is to keep creating subfolders on the, under the existing folder. And so instead of having uh, different folders called 2016 accounts, 2017 accounts, 2018 accounts, where you'll get a long list, just create some more subfolders underneath the top folder here, in this case being two dot accounts, and I can close that up. I've got a nice clean list, not a very long list that I've got to um, scroll down. Okay, that was the first tip. Now, the second tip is to do the same sort of thing, and people don't think about this, but do the same sort of thing with your sent items. So with sent items, create your uh, subfolders. Right click sent items and go new folder and say one dot uh, to CEO. So emails I send to the CEO, I'm going to file them away under the subfolder that's inside the sent items. Right click, uh, new folder, uh, to dot, uh, to my managers. Okay, and again, uh, they'll go in alphabetical order. Okay, so that's the second big tip. Put your subfolders inside your sent items as well. And uh, the third tip is if you do have lots of uh, levels of different folders, some of you are gonna say, yeah, that's okay, but I've gotta go click inbox, then I've gotta go click accounts, then I've gotta go click 2018, and use that as the current folder, it takes a while to get to it. Well, no, it doesn't if you make a shortcut. So some of you would know that I would just go here, uh, 2018, right click that and say show in favorites, show in favorites. And that creates a favorite section at the top here. So I've got 2018 as the shortcut underneath my favorites and I don't have to click and open up the different subfolders. Now, when I go and click the uh, f uh, emails and move them in. I can just go click on the right here, as you know, with a sub, uh, sorry, with a control key and go click, 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 and all those, and I've selected those and go click and drag into the shortcut, which is the uh, under the favorites here, let go. I don't have to find where it is actually in the subfolder there. Um, and if I open up now, inbox and accounts, and obviously uh, they are there as well, okay? Okay, so there you go. Tip number one, just make sure you, uh, as a suggestion, put numbers or letters in the names of your uh, folders. Number two is to uh, do the same sort of thing in your sent items, under your sent items folder. And the third thing is to uh, add shortcuts for those into the favorites at uh, the top left there, so it's a bit easy to get to. Okay, uh, now we cover a lot more than this and uh, a lot more shortcuts and best practice in our Outlook time management course. Have a look for that on our website, uh, Mark Mannering signing off and see you again soon. Thanks a lot, bye.